Today, it's another early morning with a landscaping business. I'm leaving the shop just before 6.45 in the morning. We have to get over to the shop by 7 a.m. to grab a few things and get over to the job site. Like always guys, if you end up enjoying today's zoo, hit that like button, it's much appreciated. And there's a full mods list link down below. Today guys, we have a pretty big job that I'm trying to get done in one day here, and we did get a head start to it. Yesterday, one of the guys uh, got done with one of the jobs a bit early, uh, so we dropped the backhoe off at the job site, and he did take the dumb truck to go get some gravel, and uh, we're already a few steps ahead. So you guys might be asking, well, Square, well, what's the job? We are going to be building a pad for a generator and digging and installing an underground propane tank and then uh, digging a trench all the way to house for the electrical. So it's a pretty big one. There's a lot of parts and pieces to it. And look at that. He looks like he took the uh, Chevy 5500. We'll get this warmed up here for a few minutes. I cannot forget my cup of coffee. I need to get that from the F250 Tremor. It looks like we're going to get over to the shop by 7.15. I'm going to have this cup of coffee here these summer mornings. I really need a cup of coffee to get woken up here. But let me grab the details. Let me grab the quote uh, for this uh, property here that specifies everything. And let's get on the road. Like I mentioned guys, today we're going to be using the cat backhoe. This will be our first job getting to use it here, which is super exciting. And this is a perfect job here for it. There's a little bit of uh, kind of front loader work and a little bit of excavation in the backhoe. It uh, does a pretty good job at it, so it should be a lot of fun. Today's job, guys, is actually for one of our weekly lawn care clients, and it turns out that uh, they just want a generator here. We've been losing power here in town, I would say, a few times a month here, and he just decided it was time uh, to buy a generator. But look at that, guys. we got the cat back out here, and oh, look, uh, they dropped off the generator and the propane tank here. Looks like that happened this morning, uh, since that was not here late afternoon uh, when we dropped off the back. Oh, yeah yesterday. All right, let me say good morning to the customer and I will take you for a quick walk around. Like I mentioned guys, we're going to be building a gravel pad for the generator here, digging the trench for the wires and we are also going to be installing this underground propane tank. So we have to dig down like six to seven feet uh, and uh, lift this in. Luckily though, it, the backhoe will do that uh, quite well here for us and you guys might be asking, well Square, where are you going to be doing it? It's going to be back here in between these two trees. Actually, right where we are standing is where they wanted it. Actually, they wanted it on this one. Okay, so we have to make sure the placement is good, but they want the generator here. And then the last thing we'll be doing is installing some bushes around it here. That way, you don't really see it and it helps lower out the sound. So let's get going with the backhoe. A nice cold start on the backhoe, even though it's a summer morning here. I'm super, super excited. Now, guys, this is, I would say, a pretty decent uh, sized job here. I mean, we have to dig down it. Uh, like seven to eight feet here, but well, at the same time, uh, I think the backhoe saves us a lot of time instead of trailering a skid steer in an excavator. We just kind of drive this over to a job site and it's going to do the trick here for us. So let's try to dig up the grass here and we should do this no problem. All right, we got all the topsoil removed there and uh, put that to the side. That way we can backfill and we won't have to bring in any new topsoil here. So let's get going on a little bit of gravel for the pad uh, first for the generator. And I think uh, I will just see if I could tip the uh, dump bed right into the bucket that way. I don't think we'll need all this here and it will save us a little bit of cleanup as well, not putting it in the roadway or the driveway. Well, this truck's going to work quite well here for us. It's going to save us a little bit of time. And like I mentioned, that extra cleanup as well. And uh, sometimes you don't need all the materials here, but I thought it would be better to bring more than to not bring enough here. So it looks like the gravel pad is almost done. And then we need to get set up here to do the excavation. Now, the excavation is going to be right behind it. So it's going to be a little tricky. So we're all going to go there. Why don't we get turned around here? There's quite a bit of setup work to do with the backhoe. 
All right, this will be a good spot here. Let's get the front a loader down there. Let's see if we get uh, get the stabilizers down. And also, guys, we do want to let's see if we can move the controls on over. Spin the seat around. And now it's time to get to digging. Now, I will be somewhat rusty here at the controls. Haven't really run this here in a little bit of time, but uh, they, they are uh, somewhat similar to or just regular excavator here. So, let's see here. We need to switch the bucket over. Just a lot of excavating here. And this is kind of the fun part of today. All right, guys, let's hop out. Let's take a quick look here. Oh, that is perfect. We're down right around uh, seven feet here. So what's next, guys? We need to bring the generator into place, and then uh, we'll get going on bringing the propane in, and then we have to backfill. That's going to take quite a bit of time because we can't damage uh, the uh, propane tank as we backfill. We have to watch for rocks, even our own bucket. But I will say this backhoe made pretty quick work here, but only about 30 minutes to dig down here. We have a pretty big pile off to the side here but let's get going on moving the generator into place a job like this guys is more construction i would say here but hey it pays quite well and uh, we are trying to expand our services here so uh, i think the excavation side of business we could really expand into house foundations uh, garage foundations pole barns things like that and really bring our business to the next level there. But wow, look at this backhoe put in the work. Now lifting, this is I believe a 3,000 pound uh, generator and it lifts it no problem. All right, we'll just try to move it into place here. Right there seems to be perfect. We'll slowly back out. Awesome, now we just need the propane tank. All right, we just have the propane tank here, trying to move a little bit slower so we don't end up damaging it here. I actually put a few extra chains on this one. We don't want to be dropping in it here, but as I am going back and forth on uh, the grass, I'm trying to stay out of the previous uh, kind of uh, tire track. That way, we don't cause too big of a tire ruts here, and so far, that seems to be doing the trick. All right, let's get it swung around here. This will be a little tricky uh, to get lower down here. So I'm thinking I'll probably put down the camera, but this is going to work out perfectly. Yeah, this oh, and right about there. Perfect, guys. We just have to backfill it and uh, then just do some small shrubs around it there. But I'm actually running low on battery. So let me put down the camera, backfill it, and then we'll get going on planting those bushes. Guys, 5 o'clock is just rolling around and we just finished here right on time. The cat back out for its first day did a pretty good job. Why don't we take a quick look here at it? You guys can see we got all the uh, shrubs planted here. These are right now 4 feet tall and you can't even see the generator which is perfect here. We just have to finish up. I didn't have the electrician come on out here, but we have all the wiring uh, tunnels in place to just have the wires brought right on over. And then you guys can see we did backfill it here. I did drive over it as much as I could to kind of help compact it. And some grass seed will do the trick there, but job well done. And just like that, guys, we're going to call it a day here. It was a fun one getting to use the cat back hoe and also the Chevy 5500. But until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.